Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. I have with me in the studio today, Steve Taylor. Thank Steve. you. Thanks. After Effects guru, motion graphic artist in the LA area. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a little bit of share and compare After Effects in motion. Yeah. And what are we going to talk about today? Today, we are going to talk about depth of field and uh, controlling that with a camera. Depth of field or lack thereof, right? Uh, ho hopefully, yeah. Okay. Well, let me uh, first by, start by saying if, uh, if the viewer doesn't know, depth of field is that... Uh, that look where many things are out of focus and just a small area is in focus. And it's kind of the holy grail of cameras, of real cameras, yeah. you know, real world cameras. So all you photographers know exactly what we're talking about. Videographers, maybe not so much, but a lot more now, right, with these yeah. HDSLRs. The, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, and what we're going to try to do is emulate that real world look uh, with motion graphics so that we get that little more organic kind of real world feel. Okay. And uh, in After Effects, uh, we'll jump over here to the interface, and you'll see that I've laid out uh, four images in 3D space. If I go to a custom view, you'll see I've kind of uh, laid them out there to... Ah, um, uh, okay. So uh, basically they're offset in 3D space. In Z space. In Z space, spread out. exactly, okay. yeah. So some are further away from the camera than others. Exactly, and this represents the camera right here. Basically I've, I've spread them out by 100 pixels each. Um, so uh, if I go back to the actual camera view, the active camera view, you'll see that they're all in focus. Everything's in focus right That's, now. Right? For one thing, that doesn't show you a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing is it's kind of boring, and your eyes are drawn to all four. And the beauty of depth of field is it draws your eye to what you want people to look at. So background's not distracting. Exactly. Okay. Well, if you're trying to highlight uh, um, a feature or a word or someone's face, you right. really want to kind of have everything else kind of fade away. Right. And then tell the viewer what they should be looking at. Uh, so what I'm going to do here uh, in After Effects is you can actually turn on depth of field. If you double click the camera, you come up with the camera settings. Just by double clicking the camera down here in the timeline? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you add a new camera, you'll get the same dialog right box. Uh -huh. um, among all the other settings is this enable depth of field checkbox. Yeah, that's a, there's a lot going on in that There, box There really box. is. I mean, it could be intimidating, but I wouldn't worry about all this other stuff for right now. Um, just depth of field. Just depth of field. Okay. Um, what, I, what I normally would do is just hit OK and see what the uh, look is. Now okay. I've kind of preset this up, but uh, if we go back and look at that box a little bit, if you're a real-world camera um, shooter, you would know that uh, the, the lower the f-stop, the higher the aperture, the bigger the aperture, would give you a lot more control of depth of field. Like, like really shallow depth of Very field, right, limited. you open up that, that iris. Exactly. So and the, then the focus distance, does that mean um, where the current uh, focal plane of the camera yeah, is Yeah, right what's in focus, how far away from the camera, the, the, you know, what's in focus okay. is. So um, it's kind of funny, they put it in millimeters here, but when you get into the uh, actual interface, it's pixels, so it's a little bit of a mixture of uh, um, How many measurements. pixels per millimeter? I think it's three, <laughs> but don't count me on that. The thing to know here is uh, the aperture and f-stop are tied together. If I raise the uh, f-stop, it actually changes the aperture and makes it smaller. So really, we're going to go for a really small aperture. Okay. Let me go back to that. Uh, like, say, one. In a real world, that'd be an incredibly shallow value. A very expensive lens, too. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, and also, blur level is interesting because f-stop decides how much is in focus, but blur level in After Effects after, actually gives you control of how blurry it is. Okay. So I've kind of raised that up to 231 to emphasize the effect. How out of focus things become. So now you're seeing the front, uh, front picture is in focus and all these others are out of focus. Now, is the front picture in focus because when we looked at the camera in that custom view, that's where the end of the camera kind of ended, the box? Yeah. Picture. I'll go camera. to the top oh, view. Okay, there we go. And actually, in this view, you can see um, the focal plane. It's actually the same as this plane right here. Yeah, it's touching that first. Uh, the uh, first image first is right here. Yeah. If I move this uh, focal distance down the path, I can actually focus on the next image. I see. If I go to uh, go back to the active camera, you'll see the second image in focus right here. Yes. So now I can just play with this and animate it and keyframe it and actually change people's viewpoint and focus on different things. You can do kind of a rack focus effect exactly. where you go from focusing on one to the other. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, how would you do that in motion? Uh, so, like everything, there's, there's a way and yeah. everything's a, a little bit different, but uh, same basic idea applies. So I have a similar setup here with these images, and to see they're spread out in 3D space, I can just orbit my view mm. a little bit here, and you can see how they're kind of spread out. I'm going to double click on this. These are the 3D view tools, and that resets my camera. Uh, or I could go to a top view, and I'll just hit Shift Z to fit everything into the window and select the camera. And again, you can see it's kind of like your setup. The yeah. camera's focal plane is touching this first image, and there the other ones are behind it. So I'm going to go back to the active camera view, and uh, I have to enable depth of field just mm -hmm. like you do. But here, what I do in order to do that, I go up under this uh, render pop-up menu, 
And up here I have the option for lighting and shadows and et cetera, but depth of field is off by default. Mm. So I'll just select that to turn it on, and right away you see those other images got soft, yeah, right? Great. But you might be like, okay, that's great, but how do you control it? So one thing you can do, if we go over to the camera tab of the inspector, it's where all these attributes specific to the camera live, and there's a depth of field section, and it's closed. But if we open it up here, we'll see that we've got some options for depth of blur amount. Mm. Depth, sorry, depth of field blur amount. So I could crank that up, kind of like you were talking about before. So it's not actually changing where the depth of field is, just how blurry, just how blurry it is. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Very much like the same control you had there. Nice. And then there's a focus offset, so you can choose not to have the focal point be where the, the camera's hitting. But an easier way to deal with that is if we go to back to top view, kind of like you were just looking at, there's our camera. And if I drag that, uh, let's say I drag that near focus, I can, I can change this near and far focus. And maybe a better way to explain that is if I first drag on the focus offset, I can say, I want that second image to be in focus now, mm -hmm. okay? So now the second image is in focus, but let's say I want the overall focal range to be broader. I could then uh, decrease the near focus and see how we get a little line draws down to make that picture in focus, and everything within that box will be in focus. And then there's a far focus that you could extend out. So technically right now the three pictures should be in focus and the other one in the background should be out of focus. Let's go back and, nice. and there we go. So that kind of lets you adjust that. I'm just going to reset that. Uh, and just the one other thing in motion that you can do, which is kind of fun, is if you want to focus on something, let's like say this woman right here, we want to focus on her. If I select her, under the camera menu, there's some commands, and there's a focus on object command. Nice. So rather than trying to guess, you can just select that, and boom, mm. it'll, just, it'll just focus on her. Brilliant. And just the last thing here is um, under behaviors for camera, there's a focus behavior which will do what you would do in keyframes and After Effects, right? It would just focus on something that you tell it to focus on. So if you add that to the camera, you select the camera, add behavior, camera, focus, and I'll just trim it. I'll hit O to trim a little out point there and tell it what to focus on. Like let's say I'll have it focus on the man at the background. I just drag him into that little well. And just like you would keyframe, now as we play, the camera focus changes from uh, one uh, one shot to the mm. next. So pretty much the same kind of stuff. There's a couple things that, that for me make it easier because I do work in motion a lot of just being able to quickly uh, select a knife and, and focus on I'd it. I'd like to few the, like a few of those things in uh, what I do too. Well, I think they're, they're <laughs> definitely uh, playing off each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, so great. Very, very fun little feature. Depth of field is a great thing to try out and work with on your, on your own projects. Uh, if you want more information on After Effects training, uh, RippleTraining.com has a uh, disc that I did with Steve Martin called After Effects Fast Forward and covers a lot of these features uh, in depth for the new user and for someone who just wants to get a little more, uh, little more tool set. Fantastic. So Fast Forward for After Effects. Yep. There's also a, a Motion Fast Forward and a motion, uh, motion Mastering Motions camera. By Mark Spencer. Yep. How weird. Very strange. <laughs> Very few people that name. Department store in London. <laughs> so anyway, that, that, that covers depth of field and cameras in more detail. So all that stuff at Ripple Training. Thank you for watching. I'm Mark Spencer for MacBreak Studio.